What's up guys? Today we're gonna be upgrading this guy here. BFS Rio from Casting, the first one. Zephyr, the ultralight bait caster. So anyway, let's just get started. So um, in order for you guys to cast very light lures, obviously the first thing is uh, have a light spool so that your light lure could actually spin this spool, right? The other key ingredient is the bearing that the spool sits on. The combination of the two should make this thing spin very, very fast. Now, these stock bearings have been amazing to me so far. Very, very impressive out of the box compared to other reels such as this guy here, the GH100. The GH100, if you guys haven't followed me for a while, I felt that their QC was not great. Their bearings were dirty when it came out of the box. It was over greased, caked, and had some dust in it. And after I cleaned it out, it did a lot better, but it wasn't the best. And I had some spool high speed bearings that I put in here and it finally made this reel hum and perform great as a budget BFS reel. So where does this reel sit compared to this? way higher out of the box. But now, of course, this reel is gonna cast further than this guy because they have ceramic hybrid bearings. Ceramic hybrid bearings, the bearings itself, they run dry, so it actually spins faster. Any sort of lubrication actually slows it down. It's almost like, you know, you put some peanut butter uh, within your bearing, what's gonna happen? Well, it's gonna spin slower, although it's kind of slippery, but it's still, it's gonna slow it down. There's a resistance, but it's gonna keep the longevity of the bearing if it's a cheap bearing, right? So that's probably one reason why they cake the crap out of their stock bearings. But anyway, back to ceramic hybrid, hybrid bearings. The bearing stuff, it's ceramic, so it's lighter than the stainless steel balls, or maybe they have metal balls. I don't even know what the original was, but ceramic hybrid bearings are lighter. So if you were to push, let's say two cans of corn, right? Same size cans, but one can is empty and one can is full of corn and liquid, which one's easier to push? Obviously the empty can, right? So um, I'm gonna upgrade this reel with some ceramic hybrid bearings from SDS Customs. You get from eBay, I'll have a link in the description below. This bearing kit does fit the GH100, so if you don't have any sort of a ceramic hybrid bearings, I recommend you guys do upgrade that reel. But let's see how this upgrade will impact the Cast King uh, Zephyr reel. Let's take a look. This is a shielded bearing right here. So it gotta be a stainless steel bearing, but it's gotta be a high performing one because so far it's been spinning so great. And side one, obviously, is stainless steel as well. So what we'll do is we'll pop these guys out, double check that it fits these here. But before I even do so, let's check these bad boys out. Now the air type bearings, I think it's the only difference between the orange sealed ones is that they just don't come with the seals and they come dry. Whereas I think the orange one might even have been lubricated a little bit. Not quite sure. We will have to check. So, and how I am gonna check? Well, I'm gonna take this tool here, the bearing tool. Not really, it's just a chopstick. Ooh. Wow. You guys hear this? It's spinning like crazy. I'm gonna put it right next to my mic. You hear this? Like it's still spinning. This one is amazing. All right, let's put this down. Let's check this one out. This might not fit, so I might have to shave this a little bit. Ooh, wow. This will put my other one to shame because I did not clean it last time. Holy crap, this is great. Let's pop these stuff out. Okay, let's try it softly. Ooh, yes. This is the big bearing. Oh yeah, same, same size bearings. Let's spin this for a second. You guys can't hear it, but I make a few rotation. Let's, let me just put a mic. It stops pretty quick within a second and a half. And this guy right here, and you guys hear how loud it is. Oh yeah, it's humming. Let me put this in here. This is gonna be great. It's the same size, right? Oh yeah, same size. Perfect. Guys, this is gonna be so amazing. Okay. Wow, 
This guy's spinning so much fast on here now. Wow, <laughs> this is insane. All right, all right, let's do the other one. Let's do the other one. Now I don't have any sort of plier tool, so I'm just gonna take one of my thin wires from making lures and pop this guy out softly. Boop. Come on. Alright, I'll be RB. Alright guys, I basically took one of these nails right here. Okay, and I just put put it in, popped it out. So here it goes. Put this baddie in right here. Oh yeah, it fits. Put the spring back in. Oh, okay, you guys gonna love this. All right, moment of truth. Ooh. Guys, that's pretty cool. That thing is loud. I gotta say, man, this thing spins so fast. Easy too. I can't wait to take this out. You guys ready to see some cast testing? Let's do it. Hopefully those ducks and geese get out of the way. All right, guys, moving on out, moving out. I like to put my book bag down, make it easy for me to cast. But yep, this place right here doesn't have that much wind, just a lot of water noise, which is why I like standing over there usually and further. But uh, we'll deal with it right now. Hopefully the thunderstorm doesn't blow on through. It's supposed to be here within an hour, an hour and a half. So uh, let's get to it. Let's cast. Okay, wow, that's a pretty easy cast for me. And I went 90% of the way from this same, oh, I found a bobber. <clears throat> Put that next to my book bag. I collect bobbers, by the way, guys, especially with uh, all these people get snagged in trees. But that was a pretty good distance. Let me just adjust my camera just a little bit more so you guys can see. One more cast. And wow, I gotta say it's pretty accurate. It went to the right rather than the left because the wind is going to the right, like I mentioned earlier, uh, unlike my uh, the um, Dark Wolf out of the box. And uh, I gotta say, man, even out of the box, the Zephyr was amazing for the, the uh, uh, cast test because that their bearings were pretty smooth. But now I upgraded to ceramic uh, hybrid bearings. I feel like it's even smoother. All right, I cast it into the wind a little bit. And I say that is 70, 70 to 75% of the way. So that's pretty impressive. Let me read this back in and double check a few more things. Okay, there's no play here. I'm gonna be a little risky. I'm gonna drop the brakes to probably three and a half. Yeah, three and, let's do three and a half. I'm gonna do a soft cast first. Oh, it's, it's backlashing. Yep, it's spinning too fast. So guys, again, uh, if you don't watch any of my other videos, bearings doesn't always equate to further distance. It really allows you to cast lighter lures. And I have to say, man, this is my bread and butter. And I don't think I've said it yet, but this, uh, this is a Euro Tackle. They're 1.8 grams, 016 ounce jig head. And they're B vibe. You guys been watching my, if you guys been watching my videos, that's what I always use for all my cast tests and also my fishing, because it's my go-to, my bread and butter. And I'm gonna show it to you guys very quick. So I'm not lying. So here you guys go. Jig head. I don't know, so say 1.8 on it. It kind of scratched off. But yeah, this, this is the guy. Four pound test line. I wish I had said everything at the beginning, but I guess I'll do some overlay. And of course I'm using a casting Zephyr, the longer version. But uh, I think, um, yeah, after this upgrade, you gotta keep it right. Maybe, maybe one click under four or uh, four exactly. Hold up, is there a four exactly? <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. It's not hitting four. It's either before the four or after the four, just a tad bit. Mm. I guess, um, I'll count that as four, I guess. I, got, I, probably, I probably need to count them all. Hold up, you know what? Let's just do it. All right, so I'm going, I'm looking at the end right there at zero. It looks like it's past the line a little bit. So in order for four to happen, it's gotta be past four just a little bit. So we'll leave it at four. Actually, no, uh, 3.9. And it backlashed and it went to the left a little bit. All right. 
All right, that was, uh, I said it's 85, 85 to 90%. That's pretty far for this right here. So this, this upgrade right here, I would say, you know, it didn't really make me cast any further on this specific lure, but it comes out a lot faster. You got jack to break up and it, I guess it's, it's overall smoother, which is what I always expect when it comes to uh, upgrading bearings. I like to just use l less amount of energy, least amount of energy to go fishing because, you know, I don't want that fatigue. I fish on kayaks and, you know, it's pretty much tiring. And uh, one cool thing about having your lure come out easy like this, you guys cast softer. Softer cast actually makes you cast more accurately. So, um, you know, upgrade is well worth it. Oh yeah. Next floor, guys, is a spoon. Yapada, again, you guys haven't heard me say this before, the best cheap spoon sold on AliExpress. Okay, Loreland is what it says in the back. And this is a 2.8, I like 2.8 because you know, it's, it's perfect for uh, ponds like this, but I throw things up to like three and a half grams too, especially in moving waters. But this thing casts like a champion on any single of my BFS setup so far because it's so condensed. So let's play around with it. I'm gonna leave this at, definitely at four, right off the bat because I don't know how this thing gonna behave because it's heavy, compact, and I got upgraded bearings. Okay, so that right there, I would say 90%, and I felt like it went out pretty good. Definitely easier than uh, um, my last lure, which is the uh, 1 16th ounce jig head with a two inch swim bait, because that's obviously, uh, you know, wobbly wobbly, and this is pretty much hard and compact. I keep saying compact, because that's the key word. So I'm gonna drop this to three and a half and cast batty out. No thumbing, no thumbing. Okay, a backlash, and I didn't see it, so I gotta check out the video because I was just watching the backlash. But I am close to spooling myself. I have not casted this far with the other lure, but uh, after fixing the backlash, look at that. All right, so this time we're gonna actually watch. I'm reeling it. It looks like it probably hit like 95%. So let's just crank this in, and thank God this thing is fast. All right, this time I'll watch it, but I'm gonna still thumb. I don't know where it went, I'll be quite honest, because it went right into the splash somewhere in there, the splash zone. So it could have even gotten 100% or maybe even more. So now what I have to do is move over the side a little bit, make sure there's no trees behind me, and just cast and just do my best to estimate how far. Oh man, it went like, it probably went like 105%. Uh, it went further than that, that water fountain thingy majiggy. So, whew, I don't think I casted that far before uh, the upgrade. So this is definitely worth the upgrade. Oh yeah. Now that's, uh, it went to the right a little bit because of wind, but that still went past the fountain. Just a little bit. This is definitely one of the better lure for um, BFS fishing because again, how it casts. So you guys need to get some of these guys, check it out. All right, guys, the next lure I'm throwing is this. The Z Spender from Euro Tackle, 1 8 ounce jerk bait. I always like throwing jerk baits. And uh, after fishing for trout, I always want to throw more of it. So uh, let's see how this goes. I'm going to jack the brakes up to four because it is spinning more uh, faster rotation coming out. So let's go. Okay, so I would say I could probably lower it just a little bit more. Uh, that went out a little bit to the right, probably from the wind, but it went out pretty smooth. All right, that was backlash. That definitely felt the wind right there, but the backlash is very minor. Fixed it pretty quick. But distance wise, that would be about 60% as well. It's like the first cast. Okay, that's closer to 65 to 70%. Uh, I never cast these lures that far, especially the, the ones that doesn't have the weight chamber system. But having this lure cast this far, it's actually pretty amazing. I'm pretty stoked. Oh yeah, uh, there goes the backlash. This is real guys, you know. Jimbo don't just cast and show you guys non-backlash stuff. Especially uh, during, during these cast tests, I gotta show you guys everything. So each time I backlash, you guys will see it, but let me clear this up and let's cast probably one more, one or two more times and see how it goes. <laughs> uh, the brakes on, 
five, just practicing my spiral cast. Oh yeah. Short distance, but guys, I'm, I'm still trying to master it. <laughs> uh, this is a flexi rod. I think I could do it. Maybe I'll play around with the shorter one. Hmm. But anyways, let's get it back to um, four and one click, because the wind is crazy. Oh, see that? All right, the wind is blowing. You guys see the more ripples right now. So um, like I said, I don't see that much improvement for throwing this lure here. So we gotta move on to the next one. And um, let's have some fun. Let's throw something heavier, shall we? All right, look at this. Stick bait, 3.1 grams. This is a small stick bait I ever have used. Man, this thing casted like a charm earlier when I was using uh, the Dark dark Wolf and the Soy Noya rod. That's a stiffer rod, so definitely casting far, but I'm pure, pretty curious how far this thing casts. So uh, let's, let's give it a shot, shall we? Okay, that went a little bit to the left because I technically, yep, my stance is a little bit off and you know, my, my end tip is right there. It is, uh, I'd say 85% of the way with the brakes, like I said, brakes were on. So let me get this thing in very quick. That turtle's right there. And let's uh, readjust. Let's put this thing at three and a half. <laughs> okay, so this rod is slingier, so it's a, uh, oh, I just got hit. The bass is right there, hit my lure, but I have a backlash, so good thing he didn't uh, really hit it, hit it, you know? But he's looking at it, he's circling around, so I, I gotta hurry up. Fun lure, I definitely probably can't cast, outcast using uh, with, uh, the Zephyr rod. I probably need a stiffer one. But I think if I jack up the brakes, it should be fine. Again, we have upgraded bearings. This thing gonna shoot out quick, so we definitely want uh, things coming out uh, with uh, stronger brakes. So let's let's put that thing back. Let's put it like one click under four, and uh, let's let's do some more cast testing. Oh yeah, that thing is 95% uh, of the way. I like it. All right, so here we go. Here we go, guys. This is the Angry Bird, the green one. We played around with the red one last time. All right, this is at four. I mean, look at this thing. This thing comes out so quick. Five grams, 5.1, depending on which color I have. Double check. There is no play on this spool. Let's cast it. Okay, I mean, this is a lighter rod than my other rod. And right now I can cast further than the Dark Wolf. That was 95% of the way. Let me just jack the breakdown just a little bit. Okay, that is 90% of the way. Went to the right a little bit. It is bulky, so, you know, it happens. I think I'm gonna keep my brakes up. Uh, one click under four. And let's uh, do the far cast. Oh, the wind blew and I kind of felt it backlash a little bit, but went left anyway, because I tried to compensate it earlier. And it's still about 95% of the way. Fun, very fun. Um, Cassie never told me what the, what the bearings are. So uh, it is what it is. So far, uh, with the other lures that I've casted so far, I have to say that the ceramic hybrid bearings from SDS definitely made the spool spin a lot faster and easier. Mind you that I, I am running those bearings dry compared to their stock ones. I never try to stock bearings dry because I don't know what it is and I'm not gonna wash it out if I don't know what it is. But casting this frog right here at that distance, I am very satisfied. Look at my accuracy, guys. Boom, pop, 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 pop. If I was using that stick bait right now, with that treble hook, would have gotten it. Mm. Look at our range. Like those clouds are going by so quick, man. It's insane. The rain just picked up. All right, guys, that was pretty crazy. Storm got soaking wet. I was a little bit disappointed I wasn't able to cast my last lure, which is the lightest lure, the ice fishing jig that I usually throw 1 16th ounce, the Euro Tackle Z Viber. But I'm pretty confident that these bearings here will be able to cast them because so far, I did it with uh, my other reels, such as my Spirit Fox, my GH100. The stock bearings weren't that great, including um, the Zephyr. I wasn't able to cast those 1 16th ounce 
uh, lures that well. But once you put the different type of bearings in it, it just casts like a charm. Now, these bearings are definitely good if you guys want to throw lighter lures or you want to throw stuff out easier. But I'm actually really, really impressed with Casking stock bearings. I believe these bearings are NMD. And it's the same, it should be the same as the one on the Dark Wolf from Serenoia. But the thing that they did different is they didn't really kick it into those grease unlike uh, Serenoia did. I think it was well lubricated, perfectly fine. In the beginning of the video, I did do a little spin test and you know, it actually spun, spun compared to the other uh, bearings on the GH100 or again, the Dark Wolf. So the question is, is upgrading your stock Zephyr bearings with ceramic hybrid bearings worth it? I'll say definitely yes, because I was able to cast a lot of those doors out a lot easier. But tell you what, I'm sure you guys are probably more interested in my next set of upgrades. And that's right, I got micro bearings right here. These are a lot smaller and gonna be a lot smoother than these here. And since these micro bearings will fit either the Zephyr, the GH100, or the Dark Wolf, I'm gonna let you guys choose which reel I will upgrade next. So let me know in the comments below which reel you wanna see me upgrade next. I have a feeling you guys can pick the Zephyr, but uh, I'll let you guys decide. Anyway guys, I thank you for watching. It was fun upgrading the Zephyr with the uh, SDS Custom Spool bearings, the Air Type. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. Peace out.